In today's form drawing exercise, we're going to return to the basic elements and practice with the basics. So we're going to work with loops arranged in a circle. And these forms and the relationship to the central point uh, has quite a strong effect on your concentration. So let's get started. We start off by drawing a circle. just as round as you can get your circle. Um, and if you haven't really practiced circles, then go check out my video on circles before you get stuck into this exercise. So draw a circle. Then what we want to do is we want to draw a line that comes into our circle. Then we loop round and out and draw a line that comes out and in, sorry you have a line that goes into your circle and then you have the line then that comes into your circle again, comes out of your circle, then it loops round and comes back and then you loop in and you meet up with your line where you started it. So this is the um, form that I want you to practice and that's the very basic. So you can see you have a little square here in the center and you have four kind of loops uh, that go round your circle. Now what you can do, this is just the form really for this week, but what you can do is you can play around with this form. You can stop the video here and just go and play on your own. If you want a little bit of inspiration, then you can stay and check out the rest of the video. So the next form is also uh, a circle. We're gonna stay with the circle. We're just gonna vary how we um, do these lines. And what I want is I want to create a larger square in my circle. So how do I do that? Well, that is then a case of moving these lines further out towards the periphery of the circle. So here I'm starting further up, come out, then I'm coming out of my circle, Basically what happens, so I, I hope you can see the shape has now got a little bit larger. What's happening also is um, at the same time as I'm moving my lines out towards the, a little bit out towards the periphery of the circle, the intersection, uh, intersection, so here's the first line, the intersection of the second line with the first line and so on and so forth moves the cross point a little bit further out as well. So here the cross point is further in towards the center and here the crossing point is a bit further out. So next circle, we're gonna make our, our um, central square even larger. So here, You can see uh, this line didn't get very harmonious. It should have, this line should have come down a little bit further and then that should have come a little bit more like that and then that would have created more of a square. So it, this is what I mean by saying you really have to pay attention and you have to concentrate these forms, these really simple forms uh, work very strongly on your concentration for um, trying to get the form harmonious and right. So the next circle, I'm going to show you, we're not going to do actual uh, loops coming out of it. We're going to play and we're just going to do little kind of points. So 
So here you can see here you have your circle with a sort of diamond shape. It's a square, but if you're turning it sort of slightly on the side, it's a, a sort of diamond shape. Um, and here I've not created loops coming out. I've just made them straight. Uh, and there's no right on, and wrong here. You just you can play exactly as you want to. So the next shape that I want to show you is a shape where I'm going to draw it here, I think. So here you have a circle. And what we want to do is we now want to play with the shape of the central square. So we want to make it uh, a long vertical one. And how do we do that? That in order to do that, we want to come not very far in at the top. And then we want to move far in with our line at the side, not far, very far in at the bottom, and then far in at the other side. And that then creates a long narrow shape. And of course, what you can do is you can draw a circle and then turn this round. So we're now doing it horizontally. That then means that we have to come far in with our line at the top, not so far in at the side, far in at the bottom, and not so far in at the side. That then creates a, a long elongated um, horizontal shape. The last thing I want to just make you aware of, so this is number one, that's the one that you should be um, practicing and drawing. What I want to make you aware of is when you draw your circle, and you then draw your, your lines, you might find that some of your shapes are not um, nice and even. So like up here, they're fairly nice and even. But here, as you can see, I have a nice kind of leaf shape here. But here is quite small and narrow compared to this one here. And the same actually with this one and this one down here. In general, my um, line tends to be quite astral. I have quite a strong astral um, uh, body. And that means that basically uh, the force in me is to make things quite narrow and not so bulbous. So I have to really work at creating nice rounded shapes when I draw. Um, and then that means that if, if your shape also looks like it's kind of narrow, you have to work out how do I, what do I adjust in order to make it more bulbous um, and give it more rounding. I'm just going to grab a crayon and show you what I mean. So here is the nice kind of bay leaf shape. It's a sort of a leaf shape. So then if I want to make this more bulbous, what do I do? I need to come over and I need to create more of a kind of curve as I come round. You see how I'm, I'm curving round and then I get my nice leaf shape and then I'm coming over to the side, curving and curving here. So here I'm, I'm also can you see, um, that also means that my central shape then changes a little bit in this instance, because if I'm going to make these outer bits more bulbous, more curvaceous, then it takes away a little bit from the central bit. Okay, so you can definitely go and play with that and try and really pay attention to what happens when you draw these. I hope you have fun and um, I'll see you next week for a new form drawing exercise.